Good morning guys. We are doing the Ben Le Monde walk today. It's about 11 k's return and it says it's going to take us about six hours, six to eight hours. So we'll see how long it actually takes us. Oh, I should not have started this video whilst walking up a hill. <laughs> um, some sad news is we are not allowed to use the drone anymore until we get permission from the DOC for exactly where we want to use it. So that's super disappointing. Uh, but we will try our best to work on that so we can get the drone back up in the air. <laughs> um, yeah, come on this hike with us. <laughs> There's a bunch of work being done on the start of the track at the moment, so see all the trees that have been taking it out around the track. Look at this. Wow. Lots of trees getting through the land for sure. Yeah. Not all of them, just hazardous ones, I guess. But the track still seems like it's in reasonably good shape considering. I would like to quickly mention as well the reason we have been flying the drone until this point is because we knew that there were lots of rules on the national parks and you know pretty much cannot fly them in national parks but we did not know that all of the public land and dock land you also need permission so um, we came across that this morning and now we're following the rules <laughs> um, I will let you know how our applications go for that <laughs> as we go with them we've probably only been walking for about 15 minutes and this is our view already down to Queenstown it's like a giant it's a giant chair kind of looks kind of good Hit some stairs. Tell them about the smell. <sighs> it smells like the rainforest. It smells like pine. Yeah. Maybe it's because they're felling a few trees right now that it's even more predominant than it usually is. Look at number two. We're getting some elevation now. But it's still going straight up. So we got a long way to go. But very pretty views for the time being. We've seen people on the luge um, on our walk up. We might have to take it back down when we come back down this way. <laughs> it looks like fun. Hey? This walk just got a little bit dark. <laughs> Yeah. So it seems like there's really big jumps in our video today, but we've actually only walked about an hour so far. There's just so many different changes in scenery. It's, re <laughs> it's really nice. I think we're seeing all of New Zealand in one day on this hike. Yeah. And it, I, I don't think it's this mountain, but we're going straight up into the mountain range, into the top of the mountain. So 1.5 kilometers vertically up. Say that again. 1.5 kilometers up. Yep. I loaded up my backpack and I want to weigh it when we get back. Yeah. Just because I put my tent in it. Yeah. I think that's your exercise. Yeah. Now I'm like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <Not> so <there>? <laughs> we have been discussing. I'm not just being lazy. Jordan does enjoy carrying the backpack on most of the hikes we've been doing. We don't need much. We only really need water and a couple of snacks and a jumper. So um, Jordan has deliberately been putting weight into his backpack for like endurance training. I think I'm almost comfortable doing these hikes. We've, we've done a 10k hike every day for a couple days. So yeah, and I think I'm starting to get my fitness up on that. So maybe I'll start carrying a backpack as well and slowly adding weight to it. So that means when we go on overnight hikes or great walks, 
when we're carrying 20 uh, kilos and all our um, camping gear and everything, we'll be able to do it quick smart. So it's all about slow wins. S small wins, sorry, small wins. And what I'm doing is I want to train up for uh, hunting. Just yeah. to get back to Christchurch. Boxing Day sales, and we'll be hitting up and seeing if I can get a decent crossbow for under a thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. And if I can do that, then I'll be having, having to hike out like a tar or something like that. Cause if I can yeah. get up there and just hide behind a rock for a couple days, <laughs> wait for a tar to come by, that would be so sweet. Yeah, so if we go hunting and we get an animal, however far we hiked in to get it, we have to hike in to get, uh, hike out. Uh, I will just show you, we've just passed this sign. We are going to the summit and it's it's only four and a half K, but because of the elevation, it says two to three hours. So we'll see how we go. Let's get going. Look at number three, I believe, which is getting higher and higher. There's a little tiny little bird there. He was right by our feet. This must be, what are we on? Look out four. We're actually doing really well. Um, especially on time, it is quarter to noon. We started exactly at 10. Yeah. So hour and three quarters. We're actually doing better than the estimated time right now. And I'm not actually that out of breath, so I'm like super impressed with myself. But we do, I think we still have quite a long way to go. So we're gonna. My thing is we gotta stay ahead of the guy in the red. He's over there. There's a guy there, like here. And we, we have to stay ahead of him. I don't know why, but that's what we're trying for. Slow and steady, but stay ahead of the guy behind us. <laughs> <laughs> but what another stunning hike. It's really beautiful. I say that every day. Like, it's really beautiful. Well, it is. It's so nice. It is. Look how nice the day is as well. Almost no clouds. She's getting ready for sheep hunting next August. <laughs> yeah. We are headed up there. <laughs> Right to the top. We have to see 360 around. Look at this view. Not quite at the top yet. Not quite. We just stopped for a second. We're pretty close though. Mm. Closer than we were, were before. <laughs> yeah, I can see a guy up there. I think it might go to the top. gonna keep going. It's kind of cold up here actually. It's got a very <laughs> icy wind. Mm. But um it's kind of nice because it's we're not absolutely boiling. Alright, see you at the top. I made it to the top. Nice. How are you feeling, eh? Good. Not like death? No. <laughs> good, good. At least the rocks are warm up here. Hmm. <laughs> I need food. Yeah. You sure I don't have food here. has come back to life. We've Hi. fed her and given her a milkshake yeah. and some Gatorade and a sip of beer and now she's back alive. <laughs> That's the way it works around here. <laughs> and look at the view. This is from the gondola from, I want to say Whistler, um, the, um, Skyline. Queenstown. Yeah. Yep, so we're going to try and see if we can take the gondola down, otherwise it's another hour walk down, which you did walk up, and so I'm not too mad, but we're going to see if we can go down the gondola. Yeah, my feet are getting sore, I guess. How long did that hike take us? We are at 4 o'clock, we started at around 10 o'clock, so that's... We've been sitting here for at least hour. half an hour though. Do you reckon? Yep. Okay, yeah, but like really, really good time, considering I almost died. Next time 